Hey everyone, Vincent here from XBS Productions and welcome to another video tutorial. Today in this video tutorial, I'm going to teach you guys how to create real 3D text in Adobe After Effects. This is very simple and easy to do, and here's the final result on what it's going to look like at the very end. Now all the hard work is done by Harry J. Frank from GreyMachines.com. This page will be in the video description on the side. Go on this page and download the Grey Machine 3D preset. And what Harry J. Frank did was actually create a preset that uses expressions to extrude text to make 3D. And it takes about two seconds to apply, and it's very easy to do. So thank Harry J. Harry J. Frank from Gray Machines for all the hard work. And the preset's free to download, and it's really simple. So just save the preset into your desktop or somewhere where you can remember it, and we can get started in After Effects. Open After Effects and create a new composition. Now you can change any of these settings the way you want it to. I'm going to name it Main Comp, 1280 by 720, and hit OK. Now type at the text that you want to extrude or make 3D. So Get the type tool and create the text that you want to make into 3D. I'm going to type XVSP. I'm going to center it up around there. Turn off my title safe. Now, the font I'm using is Impact because it's a thick and bold font, so you can see the results a little bit better. And what you want to do is click on the text, highlight it, and go to Layer, Pre Compose. Name it 3D text. Move all attributes into the new composition, then click OK. So what you have now is your text in a new composition. Now we're going to open that composition by selecting the 3D text layer or composition and go to layer or right click on the layer and open the composition. So now you're in your 3D text layer and you're back where you started with the XVSP text or your custom text. Now what you want to do is make sure that your text is 3D. So hit the 3D knob. So now your text is 3D. Now what you want to do is create the extruded part. So we're going to apply the animation preset now. Highlight your text, select it, then go to animation, apply animation preset, and go ahead and browse for your 3D preset that you downloaded from GreyMachines.com. Mine's on my desktop right here, so I'm going to select it. So now the preset is applied to my my first text. As you can see, it's just the brightness and contrast. It's a very simple expression, but it helps. So let's get started. Now that your text is 3D and it has applied the Gray Machine 3D preset, what you want to do is click and highlight your text, and only your text, and click Control D. So you just duplicate it. Now I have two layers. We're going to highlight them again. Duplicate, highlight, Control D, highlight, Control D, highlight, Control D, and do this until you have about 50 layers of the same text. So now I have 59 layers of my XVSP font and they're all 3D and what you want to do is I'm going to, I'm going to select the top layer the very front layer top layer and let's go ahead and apply a ramp so you can see the results so go to effect generate ramp let this load I'm going to change the start color to about a white and then an end color of about black and play around with these settings a little bit. Somewhere around here. Now if you go to our custom view, you can see that it's actually 3D. So you see it's extruded back and it gets darker as it goes back like reality. And the front has the ramp that we apply to it. Now that's actually 3D if you look at it. And if you get the camera rotation tool, you can actually rotate around this text, and it's actually 3D. Let's go back to our active camera view. Now, as you can see, it is actually 3D text. It's not that extruded that much because we didn't duplicate it enough. But if you wanted to make a lot more extruded and make it look a lot more 3D, then you would duplicate the layers like another 100 times, and it'll be really deep and thick. But as you can see, it is 3D from here. Now, what we can do to enhance this is... Make sure that your top layer is selected again, and go to Layer, Layer Styles, and then click Bevel and Emboss. Now wait for it to load. It may take a while depending on your computer. You go to Bevel and Emboss Options, and change the size to about 2. Now depending on what font you use and how big your font is, you may need to mess around with these things, but all I need to do is click 2. And now that you see your text is a little bit 3D and it's more extruded, 
So you have a front face, and now you have your extruded background. Now, of course, you can change the color of the ramp and change all that thickness and all that other great stuff. But this is just a really easy and quick way to create 3D text in After Effects. You can use these methods to incorporate 3D text in your movie trailers or promos, or just to create 3D text in general and add your own background, etc. But this is just very basic technique, and it's all free thanks to Harry J. Frank and other thanks to him. Don't forget to check out his website, and that's how you create 3D text in Adobe After Effects. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel at youtube.com slash xvsproductions. And please, everyone, if you have any ideas for new tutorials on After Effects or anything at all, please PM me or send me a message on YouTube and telling me what video tutorials you want me to make. If it's about my theme, about After Effects, about Photoshop, fireworks, window blinds, anything like that, any tutorials that you want from me, I will try, I will try my best to create that tutorial for you in depth and explain it. So thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe. More After Effects tutorials coming. And thanks for watching, guys.